Today we're going to be talking about numbers that are greater than each other. So we are going to use cubes or a quick draw to help us show which number is greater. I have a bowl with 15 cubes and a bowl with 20 cubes. Which bowl has more cubes? 20. Very good. The bowl that has 20 has more cubes. Name another <coughs> number greater than 15. 16. Very good. 16 is greater than 15. Up top here, do you see this dotted line right here? Yes. I want you to draw your picture up at the top here. I want you to draw the number 65. 65. Yeah, go ahead and get your color for sheets off. I'm sorry. Go ahead and draw the, the number 65 using a quick draw just like we were shown earlier with that number 15. Great job. How many tens did you draw? Good. How many ones? Now, down below here, below this line, I want you to draw, use a quick draw, the number 56. What did you draw? How many tenths? Uh, five. Five tenths. Six tenths. Okay, very good. How can we use our drawings to compare the numbers? What do you notice about the numbers? Okay, very good. Did you guys notice that on the numbers that they are switched around? Okay, the digits are switched. Very good. Okay. Which number is greater, 65 or 56? Which one's greater? 55. No, which one of the 65 or 56? Which one is greater? Okay, very good. 65 is greater. Do we compare the ones place? Did we compare the ones place? No. But which one's bigger on the ones place? The six. The six. So are we supposed to compare the ones place? Yes. Yeah. No. Which one's actually bigger, 65 or 56? 65. 65 is bigger. So did we compare the ones place? Yes. No. No, we did not. When we find the greater than number, we always look at the tens place first. Okay? We always compare the tens place first. So, which tens place is bigger, the six or the five? The six. So, that makes 65 bigger than 56. I can also look on the hundreds number chart. Here is 65 and here is 56. Which one is greater? 
365 because it's further down the hundreds number chart, right? So that makes it a great term. Okay. I want you to turn your paper over. And we are going to learn about a sign today that looks like this. Does everyone see that sign? I like to call it an alligator sign because it kind of looks like an alligator with teeth. Doesn't it look like an alligator mouth? Yep. And the alligator loves cookies. He loves cookies so much that he always chooses the greater number. If you were mom told you you could have three cookies or you could have one cookie, which one are you going to eat? Three. Three, for sure. If my mom told me I could have three cookies um, after dinner, I would eat three cookies and not just one. I want the greater number of cookies and so does my alligator, okay? So the alligator is always going to eat what? The greater number, okay? He's always going to eat the greater number, greater of, cookies. number of cookies. So let's take a look at this one first, okay? It says to compare 25 and 17. First, compare the, the tens place. Are we going to look at the ones place? No. No, we're going to first compare the tens place. So, here is 25 and here is 17. Which one in 25 is the tens place? 25. Which digit is in the tens place? Two. The two is in the tens place. On 17, which number is in the tens place? One. The one. So we're comparing these two numbers. Which one's greater, the two or the one? Two. The two is greater. Okay, so which one is the alligator going to eat? The 25 or the 17? 25. You are exactly right. So my alligator mouth is going to be open to the 25. So we read it, 25 is greater than 17. 25 is greater than 17. Does everyone see that? Good. I'm so glad you saw that before. Hey, mathematicians, should we check ourselves? Yes. Absolutely. Can I find 25 on the 100 December chart? Yes. Sure. Where's 25? What other number are we going to look for? 17. Which one is greater? 25. Is that what we decided on our worksheet? Yes. yes, it is. So we are right. If we look at the numbers, we can tell that 25 is greater than 17. At first, I do want you to look at the tens place because that will help us and it will be pretty quick. But then, mathematicians, to check ourselves, what are we going to look at? Uh, the number chart. The hundred number chart. Okay, very good. Let's do this one next. How many cubes do I see? 17. How many cubes do I see? 15. Okay. Which one is greater? What am I going to look at first? The tens place or the ones place? We are going to look at the tens place. Which one is in the tens place? The one or the seven? The one is in the tens place. 
On 15, which one is in the tens place? The one or the seven? Which one? The seven. The one. Uh oh, first grade. They're both the same, same number. number. So if they're the same number, now what am I going to look at? The, the ones. The ones place. So now that I found out that the tens place is the same number, I'm going to look at the ones place. Are they different? Yes. Yes, they are. Which one is bigger? The seven or the five? The seven is greater. So, I am going to say what, first grade? Seventeen is greater than fifteen. Okay, does everyone see that? Do you see how this sign says what? Greater than. What does this sign say, first grade? Greater than. I want all first grade places. What does that sign say? Greater than. So if the alligator is chomping this way, it says? Greater than. Greater than. Okay. We will do number one together. It says, circle the greater number. Which one's greater, 62 or 65? 65. So please circle 65. <coughs> Did we look at the tens place or the ones place to see which one was greater? One. The ones place. Because if we looked at the tens place, can we tell which one's greater? No. No. So we're going to have to look at the one place to tell which number is greater. Does everyone see that? See what we're doing? Okay. So which number are we going to write first? Are we going to write 62 or 65? 65. Very good. So we're going to say 65 is greater than are we going to switch the numbers down here? No. no. We're going to say the same thing. 65 is greater than 62.